All right, ladies and gentlemen, our two competitors for the SFL welterweight title. Join here by my left, Jason Willingham Jr., the current reigning defending SFL welterweight champion. How you doing, Jake? Doing pretty good. And his opponent, Zach Graff, fighting out of King Kong MMA. Okay, I'm going to start off with the champion here, Jason Willingham. I was sitting here looking through your fight history, and I, uh, I looked at your fight as to when you won the SFL welterweight championship, and I was like, oh, yes, that fight. All of your fights have not gone the distance. All of your fights pretty much ended by KO. Do you, is, is that your prediction for this fight tomorrow night in defending your title at SFL 39? Yeah, I think late third, uh, I don't put them out, so yeah. All right, Zach, you're fighting for the title, coming out of King Kong MMA. Obviously not your mixed martial arts debut, but your SFL debut, fighting for a title. What does it mean to fight in arguably the biggest stage on the East Coast? Uh, it feels good. Uh, it's a really nice venue, it's a really nice uh, promotion, really nice belt. I was, I was always watching it, and I was like, you know, I'm going to fight on that card, so here I am. So talk to us a little bit about your training. Obviously, you're fighting for all the marbles tomorrow night with a very skilled opponent in Jason Willingham. How, how has that changed your training, or has it changed it at all? It, it hasn't changed my training at all. I, I, uh, I treat every opponent like he's like the world champion. You know? I treat him like he's the best, and I, uh, I just got to, uh, if, if anything, I, I've just been better because it's not winter anymore. You know, it's easy to get outside. It's easy to go train. It's not, you know, no crappy weather. I feel happy to go outside and run. If anything, I'm in better shape now, too, because I was out of the cut. Um, I, I feel good. And I, I guess that same question goes for you, Jay. Uh, obviously, you fought the three five-minute rounds, didn't make it out of that. But now, obviously, you're fighting another three five-minute round fight, but this time with a target on your back. Has that changed your training any in preparation for this fight in defending your title tomorrow night? No, uh, I trained the same way regardless, so it is what it is. I know that um, you said that you wanted to like knock him out in the last round, but do you have any other details that you for your predictions or anything, or are you just going to knock him out? I mean, the finish is always what we're going to look for, but at the end of the day, I'm ready to go with the full three. I know he's a durable guy, he hasn't been finished before, so if it doesn't go, if it doesn't, the finish doesn't happen, I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure on him and I'm doing what I can do in that fight. And the same for you, do you have any predictions for the fight? I mean, it's the same thing, you know, I, I have been a. Uh, Every, every fight I've had has gone a distance. And, you know, if anything, like the last camp, I've just, uh, I've really worked on, um, I've worked on finishing more, you know, I've worked on my, my finishing ability and just, you know, not to sit on leads when I know I have them, just, you know, to keep coming and try to knock the guy out. Um, it is what I think when you're a fighter, I think everybody's goal is the same thing now. So, uh, what's going to happen is going to happen. We'll see. Well, we look forward to see what happens when she locks the cage door behind you guys tomorrow night. SFL 39's Head Constant Convocation Center. This is our main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the SFL welterweight division. Our challenger, Zach Kraft, and the reigning defending SFL welterweight champion, Jason Willingham, Jr. <laughs>